Have you ever skipped a stone across a lake and watched the ripples spread? That's a lot like life, really. Every action, every word, and even every thought is just like that stone, setting off waves that reach further than we can see. Welcome back to Conscious Power, where we dive into the inner workings of the mind in an effort to unlock its full potential. Today, we're tuning into the rhythm of the universe. We're exploring karma, that great cosmic DJ spinning the tracks of cause and effect and orchestrating the dance of our lives. But wait, karma isn't solely about punishing or rewarding us. It's much deeper than that. Today, we're going backstage to see how karma choreographs not just our actions, but also influences our entire life journey. Let's go on a deep dive into the mystical yet immensely practical world of karma. Karma has its roots in ancient Eastern religions like Hinduism and Buddhism. It's the universal law of cause and effect. Every intention, every action creates a ripple of reactions, shaping not just our immediate future, but our lives at large. This brings us to the karmic cycle, or samsara, a never-ending loop of birth, life, death, and rebirth. It's this cycle that connects our past, present, and future. Think of it as a cosmic playlist, birth, life, death, rebirth, on and on it goes. Each stage, each song, if you will, is influenced by the one before and sets the tone for the one to follow. Karma is the DJ, we're the dancers. Our past steps influence our current groove, and our present moves set us up for our future rhythm. Think about walking along a beach. The footprints behind are your past. The imprint you're making now is your present. And where your feet are headed, that's your future. Every action is like that pebble hitting the water, causing ripples that reach far and wide. This ripple effect is an echo of actions and reactions, shaping the harmony of our lives. So let's remember as we journey through life, every action, every thought, every word contributes to the rhythm of the universe. Our life's dance is part of the great cosmic ballet, and what a mesmerizing performance it is. But how do we navigate this complex cosmic dance? Well, we have 12 laws of karma serving as our guideposts. Our journey of universal laws begins with the great law. This is our first guiding principle, setting the tempo for our cosmic dance. Known also as the law of cause and effect, this law is a cornerstone of universal wisdom, fundamental in its universal applicability. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction, or in simpler terms, you reap what you sow. Now, this might sound a little abstract, a bit highbrow, but its practical application is strikingly simple and deeply transformative. Here's how. Think of your daily interactions, the hundreds of exchanges you have with people around you. Every word you say, every action you take is an opportunity to set off a positive ripple. Let's say you're meeting a friend for coffee. As you catch up, you notice their new haircut. Now you have a choice. You could hold back, keep your thoughts to yourself, or you could voice your appreciation compliment their new look. It's a small act, but it sets off a chain reaction. They feel appreciated, their mood brightens, and they carry that positivity forward, spreading it to others she interacts with. You started a chain of positivity with a simple compliment. Or consider another scenario. You're at a restaurant, and the waiter has been on his feet all day. A kind word from you, a moment of understanding, could be the highlight of his day, a ripple of positivity in his life. In applying the great law, we're not just passively experiencing life, but actively creating our own life narrative. By sprinkling positivity into our actions and words, we are not only making our surroundings a little brighter, but setting in motion a wave of positivity that will, in time, find its way back to us. So as you go about your day, remember, each interaction is an opportunity, each action a dance move in the cosmic dance of life. Step forward with kindness, with positivity, and let the symphony of good vibes play. Let's traverse next to the law of creation, which is indeed a powerful player on our cosmic stage. Now, this law is a bit like a personal superpower, offering us the understanding that we hold the ability to script our own life story. We're not just characters or extras passively partaking in the scenes, but are in fact the lead actors, the directors, and the scriptwriters of our own life's grand narrative. So how does this play out in real life, you ask? Well, think about it. Instead of letting life happen to you, the law of creation encourages you to make life happen for you. It's a shift from passivity to proactivity, 
from reacting to consciously creating. For instance, you might be waiting for opportunities to knock on your door, but this law suggests that you have the power to create those opportunities for yourself. Let's delve into a practical example, particularly when it comes to relationships. Say you desire more love in your life. This law suggests that you can actively attract this love by expressing it first. Now this doesn't have to be anything grandiose. It could be as simple as sending a heartfelt message to a friend or family member expressing how much you value their presence in your life. It could be about showing kindness to a stranger, perhaps helping them carry their grocery bags or offering your seat in a crowded bus. As you express love and kindness in these small but significant ways, you're likely to notice a shift in your experiences. It's as if you've sent out a ripple of love into the universe, and it starts to return to you, often from the most unexpected sources. You might find your relationships deepening, strangers reciprocating your kindness and a general sense of warmth and positivity enveloping your life. Journeying on to the third principle, we encounter the law of humility. This law is like a sage, urging us to understand the profound strength inherent in acceptance. While it might seem counterintuitive at first, the law of humility propounds that before we can initiate any change, we need to fully accept and understand our present circumstances. So, what does this law look like in action? Well, let's paint a scenario we're all too familiar with being stuck in a traffic jam. There you are, behind the wheel, the car's engine idling, and a sea of taillights stretching out in front of you. Frustration begins to bubble up, doesn't it? Maybe you clench the steering wheel a little tighter or start impatiently tapping your foot. But wait, here's where the law of humility comes in, whispering the wisdom of acceptance. It urges us to first accept that the traffic jam is outside our control. Getting frustrated won't clear the jam. Acceptance isn't about resignation, but rather a peaceful acknowledgement of the reality at hand. It's about understanding that sometimes things are just as they are, and that's okay. Now, with acceptance comes the ability to respond constructively. Instead of fuming, could you use this unexpected pause as a golden opportunity? Maybe it's the perfect time to listen to that audiobook you've been meaning to catch up on, or maybe it's an opportunity to listen to a new podcast or simply indulge in some mindful breathing. The traffic hasn't changed, but your response to it has. The beauty of the law of humility is that it shifts our perspective from resistance to acceptance, from stress to peace. It's a subtle shift, but it's one that can profoundly influence our daily lives. So next time you find yourself in a less than ideal situation, remember to stop, take a deep breath, and accept the present moment for what it is. From this place of acceptance, you can then decide on the best course of action, turning every obstacle into an opportunity. Moving forward on our journey, we reach the law of growth, our guiding principle encouraging introspection and self-improvement. Think of it as a personal trainer for your spirit, gently but insistently urging you to look inward and cultivate your own personal garden. What's so fascinating about the law of growth is how it shifts our attention from the world around us to the world within us. Many of us have a tendency to externalize, don't we? We focus on trying to change people around us, our jobs, or our circumstances. But the law of growth advises us differently. It suggests that if we want our lives to change, we need to change ourselves first. And not just superficially, but deep, intrinsic, and personal growth. Let's break it down. How can you apply this law in your daily life? Well, it starts with a commitment to self-improvement. Set aside a bit of time each day for personal development. This could take any form that suits you. Reading a self-help book, taking up a meditation practice, learning a new skill, or even just practicing some deep, mindful breathing. Perhaps you decide to start learning the guitar, or maybe you finally sign up for that coding course you've been contemplating. Perhaps you decide to set aside 15 minutes each day for meditation, or maybe you take a vow to read one book every week. It doesn't really matter what you choose to do, as long as it contributes to your growth. As you focus on nurturing yourself and expanding your own skills, knowledge, and wisdom, you'll start to notice something remarkable. Your external world begins to change in response to your internal evolution. 
You'll discover new opportunities, meet new people, and encounter new situations that align with your growth. The law of growth is a powerful reminder that we are the gardeners of our own lives. By diligently tending to our personal growth, we can watch as the seeds of our efforts bloom into a world that reflects our evolution. So take some time today to reflect. What can you do to foster your own growth? Our next cosmic guidepost is the law of responsibility, a law that serves as both a mirror and a compass. It's a beacon of accountability, urging us to confront our own reflections and recognize that we are the architects of our own circumstances. You see, the law of responsibility sends us an essential and empowering message. We are not passive victims of circumstance, but active participants in our lives. This law underlines the idea that our problems are not solely the product of external factors. Instead, they are often an echo of our own actions, attitudes, and behaviors. It nudges us to examine how we might be contributing to our own problems, rather than simply casting blame outwardly. Consider, for instance, your work stress. Is it entirely due to a demanding boss or a heavy workload? Or could it be that your procrastination, disorganization, or lack of time management skills are contributing factors? According to the law of responsibility, the latter is likely to be true. By acknowledging and addressing these internal factors, you can alleviate your stress and create a more balanced, efficient work life. But how exactly do you apply this law? Start by stepping back and taking an objective look at the challenges you're facing. Instead of assigning blame externally, ask yourself, how have I contributed to this situation? This might be a bit uncomfortable at first. It's always easier to blame someone else, isn't it? But real growth comes from stepping out of our comfort zones and confronting the reality of our actions. Once you've recognized your contribution to the problem, the next step is to take action to change it. If procrastination is your enemy, maybe it's time to develop a time management strategy. If you're struggling with disorganization, perhaps it's time to implement a new system or routine. You are not only responsible for your problems, but also for finding solutions. By practicing the law of responsibility, you're taking control of your life. You're acknowledging that you have the power to shape your experiences and your circumstances. So next time you find yourself in a difficult situation, Remember, the key to change lies within you. Our journey continues with the law of connection now coming into the spotlight. This law is a poetic reminder of our universal interdependence and interconnectedness. It's a kind of cosmic string theory, asserting that every choice we make, every step we take, is part of an intricate web of actions and reactions that ripple across our lives and the world at large. The law of connection sends a message as empowering as it is humbling. Everything we do matters. Every action, no matter how seemingly insignificant, is a stitch in the fabric of the universe, contributing to a grander narrative that extends beyond ourselves. But how does one truly embrace this law? Well, it starts with consciousness, with waking up to the reality that our choices carry weight and leave imprints. Take something as mundane as shopping, for example. You stand at the checkout line, the cashier asks if you'd like a plastic bag, and you're faced with a choice. You could opt for the convenience of the plastic bag, or you could choose the reusable one you've brought along. On the surface, it seems like a trivial decision, right? But let's look at it through the lens of the law of connection. If you choose the plastic bag, it may end up in a landfill, or worse, in our oceans, harming marine life and contributing to pollution. But if you choose the reusable bag, you're reducing waste and contributing to the health of the planet. This decision, while seemingly small, echoes across the universe. It contributes to a larger story overall. It's an acknowledgement that our actions are connected to something bigger than ourselves, that we're all players in the grand cosmic cycle of life on Earth. So, to truly embrace the law of connection, make your choices consciously. Realize that every decision, every action, every word is a thread that weaves your story into the greater tapestry of existence. Next, we make our way to the law of focus. This is a law that, in its simplicity, carries an incredible amount of power. It's about attunement, about channeling your energy with laser-like precision to one task or moment at a time. 
The Law of Focus is a champion of mindfulness and undivided attention. Its strength lies in its ability to bring clarity and depth to our experiences while enhancing our productivity and overall satisfaction. In a world that's increasingly pushing us towards multitasking, this law is a much-needed reminder that our attention is a precious resource, one that should be directed intentionally. Consider the scenario of a regular day. You're juggling tasks at work, toggling between tabs on your laptop, answering phone calls, all while sneaking glances at your lunchbox. You're physically present, but mentally scattered. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Now, to apply the law of focus. Imagine sitting down for lunch, setting aside your work, and truly being present with your meal. You savor each bite, appreciate the flavors, and suddenly lunch isn't just another task to get through. It's an experience, a moment of enjoyment amidst a hectic day. The same law can transform your conversations. Too often, we're only half listening, our minds already racing to the next thing on our agenda. But what if you truly focused on the conversation? What if you engaged fully, listening with intent, responding with thoughtfulness? Suddenly, a simple chat becomes an exchange of ideas, a meaningful connection. To harness the law of focus, make it a practice to immerse yourself fully in one task or moment at a time. Practice mindful living, one task at a time, and observe the transformation. Next in line, the law of giving and hospitality encourages us to embody our beliefs. Why is this law important? It calls us to practice our ideals in the real world. If kindness is your mantra, show it. Volunteer, help a friend, let your actions reflect your words. Moving along onto the law of here and now. This law is like a charming invitation to a dance. A dance where the music is the heartbeat of the present moment. It's all about mindfulness, about being fully present and alive in the now. Why, you ask? Well, because often we're either shackled to the past or anxiously peering into the future. The law of here and now, however, gently nudges us to live in this moment, because it's in this moment that life truly unfolds. Consider this. Have you ever found yourself at a dinner surrounded by friends, good food, and laughter? But instead of being in the moment, your mind is at work, stressing over a looming deadline. That's exactly what this law advises us against. It encourages us to fully experience and engage in the present, because that's where we truly live. And how can we embrace this law in our daily routines? It's simple. Start by paying attention to what you're doing. If you're eating, take the time to savor every bite, enjoy the flavors, the textures. If you're listening to music, let the notes wash over you. Let the rhythm resonate within you. If you're having a conversation, be truly present. Listen not just to respond, but to understand. Appreciate the person in front of you, their thoughts, their emotions, in a world that's always rushing, that's constantly planning for the next thing. Staying in the moment can be a challenge, but it's a challenge worth taking. Mindfulness helps us connect better with ourselves and the world around us. It makes us more empathetic, more aware, and more appreciative of the little things. It makes us realize that every moment is fleeting and unique, and therefore every moment is precious. So, dear friends, Let's try and dance in the rhythm of the present. Let's taste our food. Let's listen to our friends. Let's feel the wind on our faces. Let's not just exist, but live in the now. Because the present moment is not just a point in time. It's an experience, a feeling, an opportunity to be truly alive. Next in line, we encounter the law of change. It's a potent reminder that change isn't just inevitable. It's necessary. This law tells us that life in its very essence, is about growth and evolution. When we find ourselves in a cycle that feels monotonous or unfulfilling, it's an invitation from the universe to bring in change, to spark a transformation. Now let's talk about practical application. Say your daily life feels like a repeating pattern. Wake up, work, eat, sleep, and repeat. The law of change invites you to break this cycle, to bring some vibrancy and freshness into your routine. This could mean trying a new breakfast recipe instead of your regular toast and coffee, or it could mean taking a different route to work. Who knows? You might discover a quaint little cafe or a serene park that you had never noticed before. Feeling adventurous? How about taking up a hobby you've never tried before, like rock climbing or pottery? 
Or if you're more into quieter pursuits, maybe you can start writing a journal or learn to play a musical instrument. The possibilities are endless. The goal here isn't to make drastic changes that turn your life upside down, but rather to infuse a new energy, a fresh perspective into your everyday existence. And you know the best part? As you welcome change, you'll begin to notice an energy shift, a newfound enthusiasm, a sense of anticipation for what each new day might bring. Moving forward, we stumble upon the law of patience and reward, a law that truly brings home the age-old adage, good things come to those who wait. It's a timeless lesson, isn't it? However, the true essence of this law transcends beyond simply waiting. It champions patience as an art, an exercise in understanding that the path to success is often long-winded and nuanced. It teaches us to shift our focus from merely seeking immediate results to appreciating the beauty of the journey itself. Consider a mountain climber. The summit is the ultimate destination, yes, but isn't the climb itself filled with moments of wonder, adrenaline, and learning? It's this process that the law of patience and reward encourages us to embrace. The view from the summit is indeed breathtaking, but the memories of the climb, they're priceless. Now, how can we apply this law in our everyday life? It's about setting long-term goals and then, instead of anxiously waiting for the end result, finding joy and fulfillment in the journey. Let's say you've decided to learn a new language or master a musical instrument. At first, progress might seem slow. You may stumble over new words, hit the wrong note often, but that's okay. Instead of getting frustrated, take a moment to appreciate your progress however small it might seem. Relish the feel of the guitar strings under your fingers or the sound of a foreign phrase rolling off your tongue. Instead of obsessing over the end goal, learn to find joy in the learning process. As you progress, celebrate your milestones, however small they may be. Recognize that every step you take is an integral part of your journey towards mastery, and each small success is a reward in itself. This isn't to say that we ignore the end goal altogether. No, it's about striking a balance between striving for the future and living in the present. Because in the grand scheme of things, it's not just the achievement, but the journey that shapes us, that makes us who we are. So my friends, as we march ahead on our paths, let's remember to be patient, to reward ourselves along the way, and to enjoy every step of the journey. Finally, as we round off our journey through the 12 Laws of Karma, we encounter the Law of Significance and Inspiration. This law is the profound reminder that every step we take, every action, regardless of its size, is significant. It's a celebration of the smallest efforts, an affirmation of the little things and their potential to create substantial shifts in the universe. Now that's quite a notion, isn't it? The idea that every tiny action we take carries with it a ripple of impact might seem overwhelming, but it's also incredibly empowering. It's an invitation to recognize that every day we're given a myriad of opportunities to create these ripples, to influence the world around us, to contribute to a grander scheme. Let's bring it down to a more personal, relatable level. Imagine you're working towards running a marathon. Now, a marathon is a significant challenge, but it's not achieved in one single leap. It's the culmination of countless small actions. Every early morning run, every healthy meal choice, every hour you choose to prioritize training over leisure. Each of these actions, as small as they may seem individually, contribute to your final accomplishment. And who knows, your dedication might inspire someone else to start their fitness journey. The law of significance and inspiration urges us to value the small in our lives, to recognize the potential within every action, no matter how insignificant it may seem. It's a reminder to us that we are all connected in this cosmic dance of life, each playing our own part, each step creating a ripple effect in the tapestry of existence. So as you navigate your day, remember the power that lies within every choice you make, every action you take. Embrace the small, appreciate the journey, and be inspired knowing that every step you take matters in the grand scheme of things. And so our journey through the 12 universal laws concludes, leaving us empowered and inspired to dance to the rhythms of the universe.
By understanding and applying these laws, we realize that we have the power to write our own destiny. Our actions, thoughts, and words are like seeds. Thank you for joining us today on this journey through the world of karma. Before we go, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more thought-provoking content. And remember, the seeds you plant today become the fruits of your tomorrow. Until next time, stay positive, stay mindful, keep seeking, and we will see you in the next